Kia ora team, my name's Ben and we're back. This time we're still looking at prefixes, but we're going to look at locations. First, so first up, we've got peri or circum. Every time you see peri or circum, it means around. For example, periosteum, peri means around, osteo is bone. So the periosteum is that glad wrap covering that goes around the bone. And circumduction is whenever we make a circle type movement with one of our limbs. So like this. Next up, we've got endo and intra. So endo and intra mean within or inner. So endosteum, osteo is bone. So endosteum is like this glad wrap covering that wraps on the inside of long bones. And then intracellular, again, intra means within. So intracellular is referring to anything that's inside a cell. Then exo and extra means outside. So extracellular would be substances that are outside the cell. Exocrine are glands that excrete things outside. And exocytosis, exo, outside. Site means cell. And then osis is a process. So exocytosis would be the process of exporting things outside a cell. Inter means between. Like if we're going on an international flight, we're going between two nations. So intercellular is between two cells. So intercellular would be any substance that's not inside the cell, but is between two cells. Trans means across. For example, if we had a transatlantic flight, then we're going across the Atlantic. So a transfusion is moving blood from one person across to another, or a transplant is moving an organ across from one person to another. Then we have dia and per. So dia means through or in between. So the diaphysis is in the middle of a long bone. It's the shaft of a long bone and it's in between the two bone ends, which are the epi epiphysis. Uh, dialysis is when we pass blood through a membrane to clean it. And percutaneous, cutaneous is to do with the skin. So percutaneous will be something that goes through the skin. Medi, medio, and media, all these prefixes mean middle. For example, our mediastinum is in the middle of our thorax or our chest, and medial refers to closer to the midline. For example, my shoulder and my sternum. So my sternum would be medial or closer to the middle compared to my shoulder. Juxta, whenever we see juxta, it means next to. So juxta articular, articular is to articulate, is to touch. So a joint would be articular. Juxta articular would mean next to or beside the joint. And juxtapose is where we put two things side by side so we can compare them. Para means nearby, so the parathyroid gland is next to or near the thyroid gland, and our paraspinal muscles are beside our spine. Then lucky last, epi means over and above. So on a long bone, our epiphysis is the bone end, which is over and above the top of the bone, and our epicondyle is a little bump on a bone that's over and above the condyle. All right, team, and we're done.